morning everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new if you're here for the first time this vlog is gonna be all about what i do in my day-to-day -day life at work as an account lead working in e-commerce this week is a short week today is tuesday but it's actually the first day of the week because it was bank holiday weekend so we got an extra day off so we're starting on a tuesday instead of a monday it's gonna be a shorter week and that means that it's gonna be a very very busy week Monday are usually my admin days where I do a lot of the reporting of the um, management of the to-do list and what needs to happen. So without Monday, I'm kind of screwed a little bit, but at the same time, that's fine. We'll take it slow and see what we're going to have to do this week on a Tuesday instead. Uh, but let me show you a little bit of what's happening. So got my laptop there. The first thing that's happening on our team's channel every morning is everyone says, uh, hello, good morning, whatever, we all um, check in with each other. And this is my desk, so I have got a tea, ginger tea, a glass of water, my lip balm, I've got my iPad because usually I watch something in the background when I'm doing like admin bits. Um, I've got my yoga cat as well. This is my to-do list for uh, last week, but what I do is every end of the week I prepare another list for um, my next week so I have it already in the morning on Monday or Tuesday as it is today I've got a um, humidifier there my plant that looks kind of sad but I'm hoping that that humidifier is gonna help her and it's just nice um, colors in the background I usually have it on now I have a call in about five or ten minutes which is our Monday stand-up call which has gotten moved uh, to the Tuesday because of the bank holiday. But that's basically where we all say and talk about our priorities, what we're going to do in, during the week, uh, what are the main things that need to be done as a whole, as a team. Um, and yeah, just kind of chat to each other because we're a remote team, so we don't have an office. So it's nice to have this kind of check-ins throughout the week just to see what how everyone's doing, what they're up to, just to have some face-to-face as much as possible through the screen interaction. So that's the plan for now. And then I'm gonna start doing uh, some reporting because as I said, Monday is my reporting day and uh, it needs to happen today. I also have so many calls this week because I have a new joiner and I have a colleague that leaves. So I have like a lot of calls with both of them just to make sure that handovers are ready and that intros are done. So it is a busy day for me and a busy week for me and that is exactly why I wanted to show you this because I don't want to. I don't want you to look at me sitting at the desk for four, eight hours and not do anything. So it's gonna be a cool, exciting, busy week. Hopefully, you're gonna enjoy it too. Okay, so it's currently ten to eleven, and I have finished the first chunk of calls for today. It's a very call heavy day today and a very call heavy week. Now I'm gonna go and eat something and have a coffee because I did not eat yet and i am starving so let's go downstairs and cook something quickly and i also want to cook um a sort of meal prep later tonight for the whole week because what i don't like is taking an hour to cook and basically that's my break like i don't have time to do anything else i'd rather have something prepped and then just grabbing it out of the fridge eating it in 20 minutes and then doing something else with the other 40 minutes remaining so that being said we're gonna go and cook now because I don't have anything prepped, but I'm just gonna make a sandwich. Please excuse my dishwasher in the background, but this is my quick lunch. So I have a couple of, a few sausages. And then I have two bagels. This one has mortadella, avocado, egg, and mozzarella. And this one is exactly the same, but without avocado, because my avocado went bad. And so I only had a little, little bit. Now I'm gonna have this lunch that is super filling and it's gonna fill me up for the rest of the day. And then if we move over here to my lunch area, this is what I'm planning to cook today to have as meal prep. I have a, a few HelloFresh recipes that are left that I haven't done yet and that I need to do because I'm, I'm sure they'll run um, bad soon. Yeah, that's kind of it. Let's eat. I'm watching a vlog. The weather outside is a little bit miserable. It is raining, but it's also quite cozy at the same time. So, you know pros and cons but let's eat because i am starving 10 out of 10 i love a bacon mm. i was chilly i finished my food 
I was having like a longer break, like my lunch break. I'm playing Team Fight Tactics. And then I look at the time and it's 11.27 and I have a call at 11.30. So I have to cut everything short, go back to work, and then we're probably gonna lounge a little bit more afterwards or maybe I'll be like super focused and work a lot. Um, let's see best feeling in the world if you work from home or even if you work in an office but particularly if you work from home and you have a lot of calls when a call gets cancelled and you didn't know about it and then you come here like all prepared and then you check your calendar and it's gone it is such like a relief like such a nice feeling it's silly i know but it does help my mood so now instead of Having this one hour call, I have a one hour free time where I can work and do some actual stuff. So I'm gonna do that. Before that, I'm gonna go and make myself a cup of matcha latte because I haven't had that in a while. And I know I said I was gonna have coffee, but coffee usually makes me feel like pretty bad. It's just quick to make, which is why I usually have coffee, but I haven't had a matcha in so long and they've always made me feel so much better than coffee. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do and let's go and then come back to work i don't have any other calls until either one but that might also get cancelled or 3 30. that is amazing love it Matcha is here. I am also here. I also got my tripod so that it's easier to film. And I'm gonna start on this to-do list. So because I don't have a Monday anymore, because yesterday was off, I need to do a lot of reporting today, but I also have stuff to do. So the way that I like to prioritize my work is that I have a long to-do list with everything that needs to be done within that week. And then I just put like one for Monday, two for Tuesday, three for Wednesday and so on at the beginning of each one. So I know exactly which ones I should prioritize first and which ones I can do later in the week or maybe even leave for the following week if that uh, happens. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through my to-do list at the moment and see exactly what the priority is. And then based on that, I'm going to start working. I know for sure that one of the main things that I have to do today is send out all the weekly reports uh, that were meant to be sent on a Monday. So that is what I'm going to start with. But I just want to make sure there's nothing urgent that should have been done on a regular Tuesday, if that makes sense. So let's do that. <laughs> change of plans little change of plans i was working like focused and then i heard the door and then my boyfriend came home and apparently he's ill so he went upstairs to take a bath and i'm gonna be making him some lunch i'm also feeling a little bit like at the beginning of the cold but hopefully with like teas and stuff and just taking care of myself like wearing wearing warm clothes and stuff like that it should be fine let's see but anyways, I'm gonna be making some lunch for my partner now, bring it to him upstairs in the bath, then we're gonna go back to work. And also, this is sort of the benefit of working from home, because when stuff like this happens, I don't have to call um, like off sick of, or, or ask for a day off or half day off or whatever. I'm just gonna come downstairs in the kitchen, spend like 20 minutes making something for him to eat, and then I can go back up and if something worse happens like i can just catch up on that missing time after work and it's just so reassuring that i don't have to take time off every time something happens and wow my hand is very wobbly i'm sorry for that <laughs> let's make some lunch. look at the level of service in this household look at this amazingly beautiful piece of art that is this bowl of pasta that is 
steaming. Come on, please. I need some appreciation for the fact that midday I'm doing this for my partner. And he also just received a cup of tea. And he also will eat this while having a bubble bath. Excuse me? <laughs> I mean, I'm joking. He's ill, so, you know. But still, this is some um, next level spoiling happening here. So, gonna go give this to the sick boy. And I'm gonna continue work. And I did put on this apron because I didn't wanna uh, splash all my uh, clothes with tomato sauce. So that's why the apron was on. But now I'm gonna go back to work because I still have a lot of work. And I've been interrupted. So I have to go back and focus. And now I have another meeting that I'm gonna be in. So I'm just joining that. And I'll catch you guys later. I am done with work. It's currently 6.20. I had to work a little bit more just because I had to send a report that had to be sent today. So I had to make sure that's done. Uh, my boyfriend is feeling better. He's gone to the shop to get some things so we can cook some delicious meals. I'm gonna meal prep. I might go to the store myself just to get a couple of extra things. We're gonna make a Romanian soup that is meant to cure your colds and flus so we're gonna go for that it's super super sour but I need some veggies for that that I do not have so I might go and get these but I actually go for a walk it's not great outside like it's not raining but it's really really gloomy but I might go for a walk just to move myself a little bit but yeah things are looking good I've done one, two, three, four, five, six main things out of my to-do list today. And now I'm gonna go and cook. I've got my prep ready to go. I've went, I went to the store just to get a couple more things. I needed some carrots, some potatoes, uh, tomatoes, stuff like that. So I'm gonna make that Romanian soup that I told you about. This is what we needed for it. So they're super, super sour. I've cleaned up everything because I need a lot of space. I'm gonna make also some noodles with veggies. So yeah, just some um, leftovers so we can have some lunch tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. And hopefully this will make us both feel better as well. So let's start. made a lot of progress let me show you the soup is almost ready that's how it looks like at the moment I still need to add a borscht but it smells unbelievable um, the potatoes are almost cooked and that is exa exactly what I'm waiting for so once they're done I'm just gonna add that I'm gonna add some egg and it's done here I've done some noodles which are here to cool down and then I'll just put them in some um, Tupperware so we can take them with us to work and by us I mean my partner because for me I'm just gonna take them out of fridge uh, but yeah I've managed to keep everything tidy and lovely and looking good and I'm cleaning as I go so I'm really really proud of what I've managed to achieve today let me finish this soup and we'll do a taste test together with my partner as well <laughs> This is the end result. I haven't tasted it. I mean, I've tasted it, but not final version. So tell me. This is the masterpiece what a chef can achieve in his life. A Romanian soup. <laughs> and you need 
Romanian sour cream and Romanian bread. And these aren't Romanian uh, jalapenos, but still. Come on. Anyway, I'm watching. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> that smells amazing. Happy. <laughs> so now we're gonna eat, we're gonna watch Rick and Morty and that's it for tonight. And there's not a lot of damage in the kitchen. I must say that I've done a pretty good job at keeping it clean while cooking two different dishes. So let's enjoy. Bon appetit. I'm gonna leave the vlog here because I am wiped out. I'm so tired. I've done so many things today and I've cooked and now I've cleaned up the kitchen. Well, that pan still needs to be clean, but anyways, everything else is super, super clean. Just made some teas for me and my partner, and I might watch another something, something, or I might probably go to bed. Thank you so much for watching my vlog, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!